Are you receiving me? It is I once again, Mr. Cinema Junkie, and I am ecstatic, for I received these bad boys right here. Yes, lovely. These are from Unearthed Films, both of them. Now, to give you a little idea about my my love and my passion for unearthed films. Here's what I got going on so far. These are all unearthed titles. Either done by them or distributed by them. Either way, the unearthed logo is on there. Anyways, they sure do look pretty when they're all uniform like that and they got all the unearthed logo right there on top. Yes, sir. Now we have these to deal with. So why don't we get on with it? This, I'm pretty sure, is the very first order because that was the hefty order. That was the one that I, I got more of. They, were, they had a sale, is what it was. Uh, they had a hell of a sale. Like a Black Friday sale where they had everything slashed and they had percentages. Of, percentages. Yeah, I was going to say that. They had percentages off of, like, their mainstream new release stuff. Uh, it was a great sale. It really was. And if I had just a little more coin, I would have got some more stuff. Why are people messaging me when I'm in the middle of things? Why? So this one, bigger package, but I spent less money on it. Yeah. I'm one of them frugal shoppers. Always looking for a good deal. And Steven, thanks, man. Because he just moved to California and he left the sale running while he was in the in the process of moving. And I was able to get these as well. So appreciate that, brother. What? Dang it. Let us do this. These are basically either a mixture of titles that I've seen already, but I've never owned them and I've always wanted to, or they're titles I've never seen and they just caught my eye. And in my haste, I ordered a title that I already own. Did you catch it when I picked them up here? Oh well, if you didn't, it's okay. I'll just pretend like this is the first time I got it. Nice packaging. I love it when they're secure and safe. And, and wait, when the bubble wrap pops, did you guys hear about that nonsense? Unpoppable bubble wrap. That's like the time uh, Miller invented undrinkable beer. They call it Miller Lite. Okie dokie. Fresh and packaged. Brand spanking new. And that just makes the price I paid for some of these even better. Better. Okay. So let's start off with the first title. And that is Sheepskin. It just grabbed my attention when I saw the trailer the first time. I was like, Pretty amazed. It looked dark, kind of raw, you know? Would you kill a man to kill a monster? Well, would you? Sheepskin. Next one, this hollow sacrament, is that what it's called? 
It has this right here in the in the circle in the O. So either hollow sacrament or this hollow sacrament. Uh, again, haven't seen it. Watched the trailer and I was like, hell yes, hell yes. Now I can't remember what I paid for these, but they had to be like around the ten, five and ten dollar mark. A long-standing favorite of mine. I've never owned it, and now I do. Guinea pig, flower of flesh and blood. The one that got me started on extreme Japanese cinema. Great stuff, great effects. Just all around great, man. Rubber's Lover. Uh, what do they call this? Cyberpunk? Cinema? Something like that. First time I saw this one, I was—I just thought it was an absolute trip. Um, kind of like one of those, uh, like, in the vein of, I guess, like Tetsuo. Just very, the imagery is, is just stark and very... It, it's cerebral, you know? Very cool. I thought I ordered the Blu-ray of this. I could be wrong. The Scarlet Worm looked like a really cool Western. I don't get into Westerns very often, but well, Unearthed Films is, is dishing it out. It's a Western. It's got to have more to it than just a lot of, you know, yeah, 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 and, uh, Spurs jingling and jangling. It has to. And again, I always checked out the trailer on some of these. If they look good, I went and found a trailer for them and uh, checked them out. And if they grabbed my attention, I ordered them. Moisey. Again, never seen this one, but the I love the the setup. I love the the way it's shot. After serving 25 years for committing a mysterious and violent crime, John is released from prison. Unfortunately, the first human contact he has is with a maniacal parole officer. John's later experience with the condescending new landlord isn't so great either, and together these encounters effectively establish the bleak and miserable tone that seems to characterize this life on the outside. His life on the outside. That just sounds excellent. Speaking of the cyberpunk stuff, 964 Pinocchio. Just insane. An insane movie. I think uh, sex slaves. Or android sex slaves or something. It was just I remember I saw it and I was just kind of like tripping out. What am I watching? But it was one of those ones that just grabs you. And it won't let go. And Red Room 2. Maybe the rest are in this box. Red Room 2, because I know I ordered Red Room 1. Red Room 2 was... First of all, I saw Red Room was on a, on a very rough bootleg. Uh, there was a company in, in Tempe, Arizona. They would call themselves a video service. And I ordered VHS tapes that they had produced in their laboratory, I'm sure, their studio. And one of those movies was Red Room, and I saw that, and I was like, wow, i got to get the second one, Red Room 2. And uh, both were really good, I think, but of course I like Red Room 1, just a shade better. But both excellent movies. I'm glad to finally own that as well. Now, let's see what's in here. It's a small box. I need to go just, you know, just recheck the order, make sure... Make sure what's what. Nice packaging, man. All right. 
continuing on, Revenge is her middle name. Another one that just looks dirty, sleazy, and all sorts of fun. Save that for last. Madness of Many. Special edition. I believe it's three discs. Yeah. It comes with a CD soundtrack as well. Special features and the movie. Again, never saw it. Trailer looked awesome. Creeper. One I've been curious about for a while now, and I finally own it, and I can't wait to put that curiosity to bed. Looks cool. This looks very, very cool. I believe that's the one about, they, they play a prank on a, a mentally challenged man, and he gets his revenge. Yeah. Oh, those dirty women. And... Francesca. Now, this is like new school meets old school giallo type movie. Um, the, the visuals on it just looked really stunning. And uh, there was no way I was going to pass that up. Not at a, uh, what was it, a 10 or 20% discount? I don't remember, but the price was right. So, hallelujah. And the final one in this package is a very signed copy of probably one of the best experiences I had at Texas Frightmare Weekend last year. And it is American Guinea Pig Bloodshock. I'm very happy to own this as I own the first one. And I'm ecstatic that this one's autographed. See all the signatures? Very cool. Awesome. Now, the collector in me was kind of like, get the other limited editions, get the Blu-ray, get the... I might still grab the one where they're pulling the teeth, the dental cover, just because that one's the more limited copy, but if I sit on my haunches too long, it'll be sold out. Um, I might still get that one, but I'm just glad to own this movie and in such an extreme edition. Badass. So that's it for those packages. I was anticipating them, waiting for them, and I'm glad they're here. And let me just check. No, didn't miss anything. I'm almost positive I got Red Room 1, I think. But I'll, I'm sure if there's anything missing, it'll be made right. And if there isn't anything missing, check the comments below, and I will completely apologize for even assuming anything was missing. But first order, there you have it. And the second order. There you have it again. Fresh out of the box, straight to the shelf, and waiting to be watched. And I get to add these ever so meticulously to the shelf. Take a picture of that later and share it with everybody. Ah, damn, that's beautiful. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Unearthed Films, one of my top choices when it comes to uh, cinematic perfection. Uh, got some strong, dark, deep titles and subject matter. I love it. So thanks again, Stephen, for the awesome sale. Can't wait for the next one. Can't wait to see... The new uh, American guinea pig movie, Song of Solomon. Keep your eyes out for that one. And uh, hopefully we get a screening of that one in, at the upcoming Texas Frightmare Weekend in 2017.
Till next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll be seeing you soon.